they like to point out my lawsuits where I'm being literally sued by a man that was convicted for of fraud for defrauding and stealing $30 million from banks. He's facing 30 years in prison. And then they'll say, but her law, his lawsuit against you has nothing to do with the federal charges. Yes, it has everything to do with the federal charges because the alleged extortion, whatever that he's talking about in that lawsuit was literally brought up in his federal case. And they provided emails and evidence of the FBI meetings about this incident in his federal case. It's all related to the federal case. And I was a witness in his case was talking to me and he wanted that information. So no, like why would I be scared of a convicted felon suing me over nothing? There's no claims to his case. It just has to get worked out and get dismissed or through a summer, su summary judgment thrown out. But he's being sentenced to prison in October and he's facing thir 30 years. So no, I'm not worried about that. I'm also not worried about the other lawsuits. And they say it's multiple lawsuits, but it's not. It's one lawsuit and it's all together and they're all suing me at the same time. And again, not worried about it. Because again, everything was factually reported based on records and there's proof for everything. And if you're using Charlotte as your source, if you're using Leslie Bass as your source, if you're using Steve McRae, if you're using Augie, if you're using um, any of those hate channels, the subreddit, all of that's false. I wanna tell you something. Todd Chrisley used those same people as sources. And you know what just happened this week? His podcast company pulled down every single podcast he made about me because the information he disseminated on his podcast about me was false and defamatory. Every episode that he has made where he talks about me on his podcast, gone. And if it hasn't been removed, it's in the process. Not allowed to talk about me ever again on his podcast. So here's the deal. Like people keep saying like, he used those exact same sources. He used the subreddit. He um, got information from Steve. He got information from Leslie. He got information from all these haters and all of these same people, mind you, I'm suing Todd Chrisley for defamation. All of those same people that provided him information. Yesterday in a letter to his attorneys, we requested all the communication between Todd Chrisley and all creators that he spoke to about me. So if you were a creator, and you spoke to Todd Chrisley and you provided him information about me that led to the defamatory content that he made, your, con your, your communications will be given to us because we've asked for that in discovery. So if you're doing this and you're actively sending him things, we'll find out. And then we'll know who's doing this and sending this to other creators. It's not like so much of the crap you guys are telling these people is easily provable and you're finding people that are mad at me and you're just ramping them up based on lies. And then you're supporting someone like Todd who was just convicted of stealing $30 million from a bank, multiple banks, by the way. And it's not even an allegation anymore. It's factual. It's factual in a court of law that he is a convicted felon and facing 30 years in prison for defrauding banks of $30 million and defrauding the U.S. government of taxes and defrauding um, conspiracy to defraud the United States over his tax evasion. Everyone wants to call this a tax evasion case. No. Todd Chrisley stole $30 million from banks. That's why he's going to prison. And that's why he'll go to prison for more than a couple years. So that's it. I don't like, it's just gonna be the repeat with Todd. So if people are going to keep regurgitating this stuff, that's why we're going to get the information. And the discovery letter that we sent is for every bit of communication he's had with any of you. I didn't care about Todd Chrisley until he got arrested. I didn't say there was a ruling that Todd can't talk about you. I said that his podcast company removed all podcasts about me and my name can't be talked about on his podcast anymore. Some of you guys I've never even seen before. Associating with these people, you're putting yourself into the position of becoming a witness in my case. So that's all I was trying to say here. Yeah, we just served. Chris Lee's discovery for all of his communications with everyone. So that's literally what we're doing right now is discovery. So I don't believe he has any form of a defamation case. No, but we have one against him. They wanted him to sue me and now I'm getting all the information and now they want to be upset that I'm asking people to like, you know, if you're going to cover me, a lot of the people that have been harassed see me are directly tied to him. And so that's why, even if you haven't talked to him directly.
I smile because I go smiling when I go live. Um, 